Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. This is Nona. I'm Andrew. No matter where you're watching or listening or whatever, make sure you're subscribed. Hit the button, check the box, pull the drop down, hit follow, whatever. Find all the links down in the description as well. Follow us everywhere else. Turn on your notifications. We would appreciate that. Because I think it's like 3% of you actually get notifications from us. 3% of like an average view uh, per podcast just on YouTube of like 1,700. That's like 30 people, 60 people. That all has the math is really working, isn't it? Well, 3% of 2,000 would be 60. But... We're not at 2,000 yet, so yeah. I mean, that was like rough math. The, the majority of our episodes, uh, barring the ones that YouTube doesn't like because they have firearms in them, get around 2,000 plus. Or our meme episode with the two oldest that was marked as political, even though there was nothing <laughs> political at all it's, in it. It's because of people reporting it. But I do actually want to thank you guys who are being assholes and doing that because the more you do that, and the more I win, um, the appeals yeah, will take with, you seriously. No, 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 Google will eventually get to the point where they're like, oh, okay, clearly people are just reporting them because they're assholes. And then our videos will make it through unscathed because you're a crying wolf. So thank you. You're making my life temporarily a annoying, pain in the ass. but yeah. you're thanking the assholes out there. Yeah. So, all right. Or, um, as you said, whatever. Yeah. So, if you like this video, or this episode, or this audio, whatever platform you're on, click the like, leave a comment, tell us what you like about this and previous episodes, and tell us what we should talk about next, because this episode is going to be another experimental different one, okay? Before we <laughs> get started, though, I would like to apologize for... Tuesdays and Mondays episodes, I was so distracted with the TV on in the background. I literally could not hear myself think. And so reading other people's stories while having a TV going on the background. You should put your headphones on. No, it just should always be silent as it always has been. I like noise in the background. But I don't. I don't. (laughs) Okay. I well, like having a clear visit, brainwaves. <laughs> visit nonafelps.com, link in the description. Visit lemaxmedia.com, link in the description. Visit veteranwiki.org, link down in the description. Visit the other links in the description. Like us, follow us, share us. Tell your mom about us. <laughs> tell your uncle's bastard child about us. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> tell everyone about us. Okay. So in this episode, I was looking at... Google Trends, okay, and um, as I do, right, as I do, there is nothing in Google Trends for the last seven days, that's as far back as you can go, as far as broad trends, like if you're just looking what's trending in the U.S. The last seven days is how far you can go back. Okay. I don't know, but I talking to you. <laughs> that was our kitchen, G-O-O-G-L-E. Yeah. So... I can't wait until that's updated to Gemini 2 because it's more useful as you've seen when we use it, other than the fact that it'll try and do calculations and spend entirely too much time talking rather than doing what I asked it to do. But that's uh, that's part of the learning curve for large language models. Um, so anyways. So anyways, everything trending is college football, Paralympics, which just started. Okay. And a couple pieces of NFL thrown in and a couple things, other things. So what I wanted to do. Does is, NFL start today or next week? Uh, typically it starts Labor Day weekend, but they don't ever start the same week as college football. And as I said, last or one of this Monday or Tuesday's episode, I don't mm-hmm. remember Labor Day also is typically a little bit farther. It's usually it's usually, yeah, yeah, it's not. So we're filming this, just to be clear, on, uh, September, on 1st. September 1st, which is a Sunday. Hence, yeah. that's why I asked about, does it start today, Sunday? 
Um, so, so you're saying maybe it starts next Sunday? Week one of the NFL traditionally, as far back as I can remember, is always week two of college. They don't ever overlap. Basically, they don't step on each other's toes. When one is starting off, they want to get as much televised viewership as possible, mm -hmm. get everybody hyped for the season, and then week two is when the NFL starts. So okay. there will be – I'm assuming there's going to be Thursday night games because college this past week was – technically we had week zero. So there was football last weekend as well. Right. Florida so, State lost. That was week zero. This is week one. Oh, okay. Because that, that was actually getting ready to be my very first question was, wasn't there football last weekend? Yeah. It was just shitty people, right? Yeah, for the most part. Right. And so. Florida State is <laughs> – okay. So I always make fun of this, right? The teams that play on Friday or any day other than Saturday when it's not a bowl game, because bowl games, championship games, stuff like that are different because they're always – Right. It's like on a hol holiday either, or around Either the holiday. on New Year's Day, yeah, so yeah. it could be a Wednesday. Right, right, or right. the national championship in, in past was always on a Monday, but now that we have the 12-team playoff, I don't know if that's going to change because that's going to push us like into Super Bowl season essentially. Gotcha. Anyways, um, yeah, college football started. Okay. Michigan barely won. They played very – We have a – Would you like to share the score, and that is what you constitute as barely? 30 to 10. Yeah. But In his mind, that's barely. To me, that's definitely winning. They – okay. The, the drive that capped off the game – and I've talked about this in other episodes when we've talked about football where the score doesn't necessarily – show the broad picture of what actually happened during the game because this the game could have ended at 23 to maybe 16 or even 17. okay it could have been a lot closer michigan had an interception was called back for a bullshit penalty okay then the very next play they intercepted the ball again and it was called back for what the commentators called the two softest back-to-back -back penalties Okay, imagine there, there's, a, there's a penalty for what's called roughing the passer, which is the quarterback throws the ball, okay? And if, if the defender hits and even runs into the quarterback within, like, the momentum so their arm is still coming down, the ball's out of their hand, mm -hmm. but their arm's coming down, you know, they're still in that motion, and you okay. hit them and knock them over, mm -hmm. there's, like, a window where it's gray, where you can't really hit them anymore, but also if you're running at them and you just kind of, like, can't, you can't adjust your body in time as long as it doesn't look like you're trying to kill them. You just okay. kind of. So, anyways, um, Fresno State's quarterback got a pass off. The defender was, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 feet behind them and was running at them from behind because they came off the edge and were coming up from behind. He was running, his momentum was bringing it forward. Quarterback had let the ball go, it was already intercepted. Michigan was already returning it back. And Michigan's defender just was kind of like, he was in that running like momentum and like kind of pulling back up and he was behind the quarterback and he just kind of went like this, like to slow himself down. And the quarterback's like, <laughs> did the full blown LeBron James flop onto the ground. This is literally two seconds after the ball's left his hand. So there's no roughing the passer at this point or there shouldn't be. Okay. The rules expert that they always have is typically like a retired referee. Okay. And Everybody was like, "That no, that was bullshit. And then on top of that, one of the Fresno State players got into the Michigan players. So this after the play, mm -hmm. Fresno State player got into the face of one of the Michigan defenders, took his towel, ripped his towel like off his pants. And when the Michigan defender went back after him, they threw the flag on him for unsportsmanlike conduct and moved the ball even farther forward. So two 15-yard penalties on the same interception that was overturned, given back to Fresno State, Fresno State goes down the field, gets within the red zone, throws a ball, the number one receiver in the country, intercepts it, runs it all the way back 86 yards for a Michigan touchdown to seal the game. The What everybody says is, ball don't lie. Like, it should have been a Michigan interception. The refs gave it back to Fresno State. Should have been a Michigan interception. The refs gave it back to Fresno State. So Michigan intercepted it again, <laughs> ran it back for a touchdown this time. It was final destination of football plays. Like it had to happen. The ball knew it had to happen. And the best player in the country, Will Johnson returned it for pick six. 
And Michigan does a thing. Um, I think Miami might have been one of the first ones to start this trend. They used to have a they call it like the turnover chain. They'd wear this big gold chain with their U, the Miami U. Okay. So Michigan has what they call their turnover buffs. Their sunglasses. I don't know why that's called buffs, but <laughs> Um, so after they intercept the ball, they have this whole ornate case. It's some fancy company that makes them. So they have kind of like how your ring came in that ridiculously big box just for your little ring. That's like what these sunglasses come in okay. and they take them out. Whoever intercepted the ball, puts them on the entire team, takes a group photo with them. So they did that three times with three different players because three different players and then two of them were overturned. So you could see them watching cause the jumbotrons are massive in Michigan. They're like, I think it's like 400 inches or not 400 it's bigger than that and you still said they played like shit yeah they did a few good plays this man is not pleased by anything okay so can you not tell there's a difference between winning 30 to 10 and just michigan style of football is wear you down just hit you over and over and over and over until you are so tired and so beat up that you just kind of give up and then they hit you even harder and it becomes a game of attrition. Like they just want to wear you out, make you so miserable that you never want to play them again. And they didn't play like that at all in the first half. They didn't start playing like that until the fourth quarter. Gotcha. So the broad picture of the game is that we don't have a quarterback replacement for JJ McCarthy who was drafted first round in the NFL and got injured last week or the week before oh. and has to have knee surgery. He's out for the season already. For Who the Vi- did he sign with? Vikings. He was going to be the starting quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings. Okay. But yeah. Already injured. And of course, Ohio state, Michigan state fans were laughing and saying it was karma for whatever. Cause that's the kind of people that they are. How the fuck is that karma? I don't know. Play well and get fucked. No, they they're like, Oh, I hope Michigan's players all, This and that, even though he's not playing for Michigan anymore, he's in the NFL. Yeah, the logic is not working for me. One of the one of the kids on Cash's team uh, was wearing a CJ Stroud jersey because that he's a Texans quarterback, I believe, in the NFL because their team is the Texans. Mm -hmm. He was wearing the C, and that's a former Ohio State quarterback. Mm. Made me laugh. Um. Anyways, the the point of all of this is that there's nothing really trending in the U.S. at least, outside of college football, the Paralympics, and a little bit of NFL because they're kind of warming up to get get the season started. So they're still, like, they, they have preseason games going on, which are inconsequential real games okay. where you just play your they're new like players. They're like scrimmages, right? Uh, yeah. Sort of. I mean, a scrimmage typically is, like, not. They just don't hold weight. Yeah, they don't. Right. They don't. They don't impact your actual season. You play right. your players that you just drafted that don't really mean anything to you. Right. No. Got it. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to just go through in order things that are trending as of September first, ten fifty eight a.m. here okay. in the U.S. Okay. And we are going to try and figure out. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what the trend is or right. what the topic, what whatever, and then we're gonna try and identify why before I open up and figure out why. Okay. All right. And I'm going completely blind in this. He didn't tell me what we were doing. And um, so actually the first one that we come across here, um, I'm not even going to play around with it. It's the uh, NHL player that was hit by the drunk driver with his brother at the wedding. Oh, yeah. Very Johnny sad. Johnny Gaudreau, I think is how you pronounce his name. Gaudreau. Right, it's obviously yeah. trending because yeah. it's sad. Um, the next one I do know, the uh, Aurora, Colorado. You don't know what's going on over there? Mm -mm. Okay. There is a Venezuelan or supposed Venezuelan. I don't, I, it seems to actually hold water at first. You know, everything is always sensationalized. Like, Oh, this is happening because of the presidential race. And you're just kind of like, whatever. And then it keeps coming up. Okay. I need more context than just a town. So, so in Aurora, Colorado, apparently some Venezuelan gang, um, drug mafia cartel, whatever, has taken over several apartment buildings. Holy fuck. And the police are doing absolutely fuck all about it. They're just raiding the buildings, kicking the people out that live there and just taking them over. Are these all people who have been bussed in? Uh, I don't know. I I haven't read all the details into it, but it's apparently it's a big problem. Like it's such a problem that even 
people in the ghetto were like, no, we're not fucking with them. Like, uh, <laughs> the gangs are like, no, right. no, no, but, I could, I, I, yeah. I would be terrified too. There's, there, there's video of, um, one of them like happening. Somebody, somebody was recording it like with their phone and there's, there's a bunch of guys knocking on doors and kicking in doors and pulling people out. And there's one guy that's like on his cell phone, this fat dude, just like walking up and down the stairwell talking to somebody. As so what like can be done five? if the local police aren't doing anything? I mean, these are foreign entities taking over. Yeah, so just, it, it seems like yeah, more than local police should be do you remember handling. The, do you remember the Chaz FBI. Chop? Do you remember the Chaz Chop thing in not Seattle? No, what's I, don't, the other, I don't know what that is. What's the other town in Washington State that's really big? Seattle, Tacoma. Spokane, maybe? No, maybe it was Seattle. This is one of them. They uh, they set up their they they basically took over a bunch of buildings, office buildings, apartment buildings. I don't know what it was. It was the Antifa people. Oh, and they set up like barricades when and was checkpoints. This, like, um, beginning of COVID, COVID yeah. time. They took it over and they were like, "This is an autonomous zone. Like we're sober or sovereign, sovereign people. nation." Yeah. God. And the police, no, I didn't know the police about let this. it happen for a period of time, and then finally, they essentially what they did. But they were all U.S. citizens, correct? For the most part, I don't know. So I, they, they, the police did. They used basically medi- medieval tactics. It's just siege warfare. They wouldn't let food and supplies be delivered. Okay. <laughs> and finally, they started just giving up. Oh, okay. But they, they had boarded up. They had barricades set up with vehicles and. No, I could. Yeah, but but again, the difference here being they were likely U.S. citizens, and so. Yeah. It's just. Uh, hmm. In this instance, I definitely think the FBI needs to step in and implement a kick out. Let's see. Oh, well, so there's 29 similar trends okay. for that. And it's been active for five days. But that's all it is. I mean, not, <laughs> that's which means it's it. been going on for months. Maybe. I don't think it's been months. I think it's been recently. They or. The, obviously, the people have been there, right. and they've been gathered. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, they're all armed and everything. And of course, so Colorado is super anti two A. They keep passing laws. You mentioned this when we were talking about um, Lauren Bobert. Yeah, they they and keep, you said Colorado is a weird state, and you kind of just ended sur- it there because they're surrounded by pro two A states, and then Colorado is in the middle of all of them, and mm-hmm. they're completely anti two way. Hmm. They keep passing laws within the state that get struck down by the Supreme Court. Hmm. So now there's a uh, a fully automatic or uh, assault weapons anti assault weapons ban case getting ready to go in front of the Supreme Court. And if the Supreme Court takes it and they find in favor of any bans on assault weapons being infringements on the second amendment, it's going to strike down every anti-gun law in the U S in a sweeping pattern, which is going to be amazing. And remember what I said a couple weeks ago, every time they try some shit, just like our, our YouTube channel, every time you go and try and push forward these little laws and things like that, all you do is actually strengthen the second amendment. You're making it worse for yourself. If you just let people be and let people live, mm-hmm. it wouldn't be a big deal. Every time, every time a major law is proposed, okay, firearm and ammunition sales skyrockets. Protect yourself, protect your family. Because they want to get ahead of it. They want to mm-hmm. have it before right. so that if there's any sort of right. clause no, like you, ha- you can't sell after X date because there's no law that goes into effect immediately. Right, right. I get it. So, yeah. Idiots. Yeah, that's Uh, fucking crazy. Next one. Fat man scoop. I definitely need more context. (coughs) Fat man scoop. That's the trend, but the trend breakdown is fat man scoop, fat man scoop songs, fat man scoop dead, fat man scoop died. Mariah Carey. What? (laughs) Look. All that, and then Mariah Carey. Okay, but <laughs> why is it spelling fat man all it's together? Be- so is it somebody's name? It's because, well, so as you can see, it changes. Sometimes it's not. It's lumping, because not everybody knows how to type and spell. 
So it, it's assuming that all of these similar things are one thing. Is Fat Man a person? That's what I need to know. Fat Man Scoop, a DJ and rapper, dies at 56. Hip-hop artist Fat Man Scoop dies at 53. Okay. These are from the New York Times and NPR. So nobody knows his age, apparently. Okay. So he's a person. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Never heard of him. Never heard of him either. Missy Elliott offers prayers for rapper Fat Man Scoop after his death. U.S. Weekly. I'm sorry for his family that he passed. Yep. I it doesn't hope he say lived why. a good life. Next one. Ricky Persall. No idea who that is. Looks like he's a San Francisco 49ers player. I'm going to skip over okay. him. because No idea who he is. The Deliverance. <laughs> Isn't that a movie that's coming out? Apparently. Looks like that's, Netflix something. I think all I know... Huffington Post. The Deliverance is a mess of a movie. A mess of a movie. The New York Times. The Deliverance Review. The power of camp compels him. Okay. Forbes. The horrifying story behind Netflix is The Deliverance. So, wasn't, what was the, uh, what was the movie in like the late 90s, early 2000s with, Oh my gosh, what's his name from Ocean's Eleven? Brad Pitt? No, the other George one. George Clooney? Yeah. I don't know. But I believe this is a horror movie. No. Oh. Okay. We don't know anything about it. Yeah. Other than <laughs> Sorry. If you guys if you guys have watched The Deliverance, if let it's us know. Out yet. Let us know what you think about it. I'm it has to be if they're already posting reviews. Okay. After that is uh, other shit that I don't care about. Like I don't like football. scary movies, so. I wonder if it's another one of uh, Jordan Peele's movies. I'm sure you that's could so, easily look it up. It's so weird that he. No, it says Glenn Close movies right there. <laughs> I believe she's an actress in it. Latoya Amon's real story. These are all the trend breakdowns that I'm reading. Okay. So I'm not actually reading this from Demon House. Yeah, is like I one said, of the trends. Like I said, yeah. I believe it's a horror movie. Oh well. Then it's college football scores, Colorado football, Florida Gators, Col- uh, Georgia football, Michigan football, Artem Chigvistev. What? Yeah, so now we have to figure out who Artem Chigvistev is or Chig Chigvinstev. Sounds like a beautiful name. He was my family. Cheryl Burke opens up about Artem Chigvinstev's arrest. Who is Cheryl Burke? I don't know. Who's Nikki Garcia? I don't know. <laughs> what are you people searching for? <laughs> Why? What is this? Oh, Nikki Bella husband, domestic violence. Domestic violence. What is corporal injury? So I guess he must have hurt his wife. Okay. Moving on. Don't do that. Don't hurt your wife. It's bad. You go to jail. What is Labor Day? Is the next thing after. Oh my God. That makes me think of the waiter at the restaurant yesterday. He had full on like star spangled banner attire and like sunglasses and little little blobby things on his head. And I think he fully mixed up Labor Day and Memorial Day. And he was like celebrating. As, he had he had those. Well, it actually looked like leftover Fourth of July stuff. What is um? What's that? What's that rap group with those two guys that look like Weird Al? I have no idea what you're talking about. The, they did like the the Chipmunks use their or whatever use their song in like that Kia commercial. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh my god, sexy and I know it. I'm sexy and I know it. Yeah, That's those, about it, all I know. Those, uh, or maybe it was Kanye. Whichever one that has like the slotted sunglasses. Who made those? Somebody made one of those two made those famous, I believe. Mm. Anyways, he had not one, but, but two, two pairs, pairs hanging from his yeah. collar. And then he was wearing seeing eyeglasses that he actually had to wear. Yeah. And then he had like the antennas yeah. and necklaces. And it, it was lo- all. It was more like a lay. Yeah, kind of, yeah. But it, they were all red and blue. Yep, red, white, and blue. There, was, there wasn't there was any white. His sunglasses were all white with the 
flag okay, but I was on it. Okay, I was thanking of the lei and the the bobbly the cat ear ant- things were antenna things. There yeah. were red and blue. Yeah. Everything was red and blue. Yeah. It was so weird. On August 31st. On August Saturday, 31st. August 31st yeah. of all this. It was super weird. And he was the only one in the entire restaurant. And we watched a boat float away on the Cape Fear River. That yeah, was, I was fun. I was going to save that for another episode, but okay. huge. You can huge, go ahead and tell everybody now. Huge. And he can share the video, which you can't really see through the complete white all of the rain yeah. pouring down. Huge torrential pop up storm downpour, like gusty winds. Mm-hmm. The, a couple boats had just pulled up. This this restaurant is on the water, mm-hmm. and you can dock there yeah. and c- walk up and eat. Yeah, it's actually you can go to the whole shopping center from there. Yeah, or, yeah. Why? I guess but, it, would you call it a shopping center? It's like a small little. There's a there's what sure, three restaurants, sure. but four. It's, it's probably not what people think of yeah. when you say shopping center. There's four restaurants there if you yeah, think about yeah. it. Yeah, because that golf you, place apparently sells food. It's okay. an indoor virtual. Like they have those screens. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. So yeah, we watched somebody's boat float away Mm -hmm. and the panic ensued of the three guys running after their boat. Technically, we didn't really see it until they came running out and we were all, why are these guys panicking? And they start running down and then we notice this boat moving on its own. (laughs) Nobody on it. And yeah, by the time I got my phone out to try and record it, it was raining so hard that you couldn't see. And they got so fucking lucky that there was another patron there who had also docked their boat, hopped into that boat, tore after, and then went and saved their boat. So they got so lucky that somebody was there and ready and available. Otherwise, their boat was fucked. And it was the the current was the the tide. The tide was going out at the same time, so you had the normal flow of the river plus the tide pulling the water out and the winds going in that direction. Yeah, it, was, it was so fast. It was extremely choppy and very, very fast moving. It, if, if anybody that's watching or listening to this has ever gone whitewater rafting, it's basically like class three conditions. I haven't done it in a long time and I still, yeah, I've never been did it a lot when I was a kid. That was one of our, anytime we were coming here to Wilmington, that was on our way down here. We would stop like the gorge or new river or, there's like four, three or four of them. I can't remember. And we would stop at one of them and all of our family would meet us there. It was like our whole big nice. family thing for my dad's side of the family. All right. Moving along. Now that we talked about. Are you going to add the video? Oh, we didn't talk about what is Labor Day. Why? Are, how do people know? Okay. Hold on. Yeah. I'll try and add the video if I remember. If you remember. Amazon's Labor Day sale. That, that What is Labor Day? What is Amazon's Labor Day sale? What's open on Labor Day and what's closed on Labor Day in 2024? There's a big uh, car sale where you can buy a new car and not have payments for four months. <laughs> I mean, that I feel that happens with all yeah. 4th of July, yeah. Memorial Day, Labor Day, President's Almost Day. Almost any new car sales. Uh, Christmas, New Year's, yeah. Thanksgiving, Black Friday. I didn't buy, they just, I didn't like, buy my car during any And they sale. do that with furniture too. And that's pretty much it now. It's beneficial actually to the bank that you don't make those first couple payments because you still accrue interest. So you end up owing the bank more money. Mm. <laughs> All right, moving on. Cause hopefully, do you know what Labor Day is? Yeah. No, I mean, do you know why the holiday exists? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> and you didn't even wear white today. Squandered. Squandered. Oh, I had to teach him what Emily Post was yesterday because that was his one question to me was, are you going to throw away all your white dresses or some bullshit question like that? I was like, no, I, don't. I said, are you going to wear white before? Yeah. It, on August 31st, the last day before Labor Day. Today is the last day, September 1st. Labor Day is tomorrow. Whatever. I, whatever. <laughs> Anyways. And I was like, I don't give a shit about the Emily Post rules. And he was like, who is Emily Post? I don't know it's who like, that is. Um, Are people supposed to know who, the, who she is? Yes. Okay. Is that something you learned in school? No. Then how do you know who she is? And why would everybody know? As you say, I'm uncultured. So therefore, you're uncultured in this situation. 
Or maybe we should just ignore all of her rules. It's and, well, it's not just her. It's she was known for. Um, is she still alive? Probably not. Perpetuating all of the rules, like how you said, um, you were told a ring is supposed to cost three months of somebody's salary. She died September twenty fifth, nineteen sixty. Yeah. And then also that you don't wear white Wait, after Labor Day. So was she one of those people that would take you around, like slap your fingers with Probably, a ruler? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to go through lady school? Probably. <laughs> and it, it's more than that. And like knowing what fork to use and That's how you properly cross your legs and how you... I'm going to use the big you fork always for stand everything. up to shake somebody's hand. You don't ever shake somebody's hand sitting down. These are all rules that everybody knows. I'm going to use the big fork for everything because I'm a man and I don't want to use the small fork. Okay. Just like I'll wear white after Labor Day because I don't give a fuck. You said you don't own anything white, so. I do. You do or don't? I do. You do own something white? Yeah. What do you own? I have uh, three white dresses. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you say so. I, I've even has. worn one of them here on the podcast. The Emily Post Institute. Has everyday etiquette courses. And I wore it after Labor Day. You can do everyday etiquette courses. Mm -hmm. You can do wedding etiquette courses. Mm -hmm. You can order books. You can order a signed copy of a dead person's book. Cute. That's interesting. Cute. How the fuck do you order a signed cute. copy? Very cute. That's ridiculous. If you, okay. So I know this for a fact because I witnessed it firsthand that the majority of signed copies of books are signed by their proxies mm -hmm. and not actually by the author. Mm -hmm. So that raises the question. If every copy is signed by a proxy and not by the actual Is it actually author, authentic? Not only is it actually authentic, is it actually even valuable at all? No. Okay. I don't then, think anything in life is valuable anymore. Okay. All right. So school us on exactly what Labor Day is. And why we celebrate let's, it. Let's read the actual definition to see if we agree. What is Labor Day? What is Labor Day celebrating is the second thing that comes up. Uh, Labor Day is a federal holiday in the United States celebrated on the first Monday of September to honor and recognize the American labor movement and the works and con contributions of laborers in the development of the and achievements of the United States. Okay. So, Industrial Revolution. Good job. Okay. I like, uh, how does, how does, what's her face clap like this? Who's what's her face? The dumb bitch from Congress. I can't remember her name. What are you talking about? Oh my God. She was the, she's the old dumb bitch. People follow her, just follow her. Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. This is how, that's how she claps. That's what I was supposed to get from dumb bitch. Because she clapped. Everybody knows she claps like this. Yeah, and her husband got attacked with a hammer, assault hammer. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Uh, we've got LSU football. Of course, we're skipping that. Toby Keith. I did see something about this. I think it's Oklahoma. Is So Michigan, between the third and fourth quarter, plays Mr. Brightside, and everybody in the stadium sings it. They did a light show last night because it was a night game. Okay. Apparently, they play a Toby Keith song every third or between the third and fourth quarter. What is happening here? Why okay. I did not <sighs> Toby Keith. There we go. It's just talking about a studio album. I did see something that was talking about trend breakdown. Toby Keith. Did death. he like not like that the song was being played? Or? No, he's dead. So it's like they're. When did he die? I don't know. I didn't know that he died. When did Toby Keith die? Didn't even have to type it all out. February 5th of this year. Oops, my bad. I didn't know. Oh, you like country? Name every country song. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so I guess, okay, he's from Oklahoma, so that makes sense. Gotcha. So they are... But they've always played his song. It wasn't that they just started. No, this after. has become every 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 team has over the last couple of years has started some sort of like. So it's trend. a new thing, yeah. and they're honoring him. Sure, I'm trying to figure yeah. out like where you're going with this. 
Stomach cancer is what he died from, oh, of all things. That's terrible. But he's trending, but it doesn't talk anything about Oklahoma. I read that on, maybe I read it on Twitter. Mm. But it's not it's not part of the trend at all. They're only talking about his last studio appearance. But I, I'm pretty sure it's trending because of Oklahoma. Gotcha. Like, this stuff... It had already happened, but now it's back on people's mind again. So now they're talking about all the other stuff. If that makes sense. And now that you're talking about it, now I learned that Toby Keith's passed away. Yep. So, what is fracking? What's the next trend? You don't know what that is. It's it's essentially using energy. Dev- con- well, it's so there's a shale rock far down mm-hmm. that contains oil like the rock itself Mm -hmm. so you use essentially i don't know what what you want to call it like they're using pressure Mm -hmm. to crack the rock Mm -hmm. and then force the oil out and we have lots of reserves here in the u.s shale oil that they have to frack for but there's a negative to fracking um not to outside communities so that's what they want you to believe, but there really isn't. They don't want these companies coming in and doing it on their land, essentially. But there's the downfalls to fracking are far, far lower than drilling for oil traditionally. They don't actually want the U.S. to have energy independence. Bad for big world, good for only U.S., bad for everyone else. Can't control and manipulate the U.S. when you literally can't control or manipulate the U.S. That's why the pipeline, Biden shut the pipeline down and all that shit. They're going to open that back up, assuming Trump wins. It's a big assumption. Yeah, it is a big assumption. He's the one that got it back off the ground and then Biden immediately shut it down. And what happened? Gas prices went through the roof. Mm -hmm. And yeah, bringing back energy independence and stuff. But what do they say about making assumptions, Andrew? I don't make assumptions because I don't make an you ass out of you and me. Just did. I was saying, if we pretend that it happens, mm-hmm. rather than acting like it's a hypothetical, essentially. Okay. We'll see. What's the next one? The next one is Chase Bank, and apparently they had a breach, but yeah, that happens all the time. You yeah. use Chase. It happens oh. with literally. I feel weekly at this point. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog three. I didn't realize there was a two. Did you know there was number two? Wait, hold on. Jim Maybe. Carrey. Jim Carrey was the bad yeah, guy, though, right? Yeah, he was right? the bad guy. S- but he retired. You're the only one who's told me that. I don't know that that's actually true. Okay, let's look it up. Jim Carrey retired. Oops, I spelled his name wrong. And is he in? He has two R's. Okay. Is he in? Sonic 3. Okay. The Independent is the first search result, the snippet that comes up. Jim Carrey is coming out of retirement to repri- reprise his role as mad scientist Dr. Robotnik in the forthcoming Sonic the Hedgehog 3. The actor and comedian 62 said in 2022 that he was retired from acting, claiming that Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was his final film. Gotcha. So, but normally, and you haven't been on social media, so you don't know this, but normally these rumors are complete bullshit. They come from these pages on Facebook and Instagram, You've they're like said this about three yeah. times on this podcast. Like, oh, so and so is gonna be in this movie. And then you're like, they're dead. No, they're not. And I had literally <laughs> never seen that in all the years that I had been on social media. It's you are the only one who's n- ever so now those are the two those are the two biggest ridiculous trends on social media, and you'll see them eventually. That's one of them. And the other one is fake AI generated images and stuff. And it's like this sob story of why don't pictures like this ever trend? And it's Oh, I thought the other one that you were going to mention and have mentioned on this podcast. So there's three of like missing dog or missing child. That's been a scam for a long time though. And then turning it into a sex page. Yeah. Anything. Okay. So to the benefit of Twitter, right? When you tweet something, you can only edit it for up to one hour. You can't go back next year. You can't sell your page and then whatever. Right. But on Facebook and Instagram, right. you can. And you can edit anything for any amount of time. You right. can go back to your post from 2006 
and you can edit what you posted. Okay. So theoretically, somebody could take over your account or you could sell your account and then they can change every single one of your posts to promoting sex trafficking. Right. And it happens all the time. And these people share these, oh, why does this ever trend? Why don't pick? For one, the picture is retarded. That's why it doesn't trend. But you're making it trend because you're buying into the fact that it doesn't trend. So Jim Carrey's coming out of retirement yeah. for Sonic 3. Yeah. When is Sonic 3 coming out? Soon, I guess. That's why it's trending. Or, or they're filming it right now. Uh, if he's coming out of retirement. Um, Jim. So let's see. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 2024 film is what comes up. Uh, December 20th. So it's a Christmas movie. Oh, okay. So it's already filmed, already compiled. Oh, Keanu Reeves. As a voice? Yeah. Okay. He's, I guess, the evil one in Ooh. this. The evil Sonic. And then Ben Schwartz. He's that, I believe he's the dude from... The Office, the goofy one. Yeah, yeah, this guy. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Wait, was that in The Office? Yeah, it was in The Office. Because he buys the bar, the club or whatever, and his sister no. is the annoying one. Is that That's Parks and Rec? Yeah, you're talking yeah. about Parks yeah, and yeah, Rec. Yeah, yeah, Is he in The Office too? No. No. He's just in Parks Wait. and Rec. No, you're... You're thinking of the little Indian guy. He That's his business partner. No. Remember he has the annoying I sister? Thought, I just clicked I on think that he Parks and Rec. I'm right. Okay. Okay. I He's, think you're, you're misremembering the other guy from the office who gets brought in um, from the Florida company that bought out the Scranton branch um, to oversee... And he was having to fly back and forth, and he ends up dating uh, the new receptionist for a little bit. And he's like equally tall no, 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 and lurchy. No, 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 this guy's not tall. I know you're talking about. He's in uh, Silicon Valley. Two completely different guys. Okay. I'm not confusing I th- them I at thought, all. I thought that's no. who you were confusing him no. with, just from the one little head side that no. I'm seeing. Oh, the he's dude. Got similar facial features. The guy from uh, the soccer show. Ted Lasso is in it too. The guy from the, the soccer, the show. Mexican soccer player. Okay. He's he's been doing uh, commercials for State Farm. Okay, that's random. He bundled football and football and made football. Okay, what? Yeah, literally, they took a soccer ball or a football yeah. and they bubbled it in the middle and then painted it to look like a soccer ball. And then in the commercial, there's a goalie protecting a goal, but he's kicking a field goal. And Patrick Mahomes is like, or there's the State Farm guy is like, goal. And he's like, field goal. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that's really dumb. State Farm do better. It's their bundle. I saw something on the back of a vehicle for one of the other insurance companies. Because, of course, they have that term trademarked or patented, not patented, but trademarked or copyrighted in some way, at least within their industry. So you can't say bundle and save or whatever they say. You have to, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to, I saw one that was like combine and instead of save, it was like uh, an, another word because I couldn't say combine and save. Anyways. It was on the back of a vehicle that was wrapped for an insurance company. One of the big ones, not like a local one. Okay. And it made me laugh and I couldn't get my phone out in time. They were turning. I was in the straight lane and they were turning. I couldn't get my phone out in time. Okay. Anyways. He was in Renfield. Interesting. You didn't watch that movie. You made me watch it. You just don't remember. No, I'm saying you didn't watch it as in you didn't pay attention. <laughs> You made me watch it. Well, you didn't pay attention. Black Ops 6. That's the next non-sports thing. Nobody cares. Does anybody play Call of Duty? Seriously. That's what that is? Yeah. Does anybody play Call of Duty? I'm sure. I don't think they do. Lots of people do. Sean Theory. T 
Thierry. Theory. I don't know. I don't know. Who is that? Apparently a Texas state representative. Okay. Flips to GOP, says Democrats have plunged. Cool. Okay. We don't want to talk about politics. The next thing is politics. Kamala Harris interview. Her CNN interview, apparently they recorded 51 minutes and cut it to 18 and basically omitted everything. Because, of course. Let's see here. Football, 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 football. Nicole Eggert. Who's Who's that? that? (laughs) Uh, Nicole Eggert opens up about the hardest part of breast cancer. From Baywatch, apparently. She's an old, old Baywatch person. Apparently, I don't recognize her. Well, she probably looked a lot different in the early nineties. Did you watch Baywatch? I did not. Did your family like? Did your dad watch Baywatch? No. Did your dad watch TV at all? Like when yes. you were young? Yeah. What did he watch? Um, the news every night. Um, Local, national, or stuff. Both. both. International stuff. Both local and national. Um, uh, I don't know. The TV was like always turned on after I was sent to bed. Gotcha. So honestly, I don't know. Gotcha. Well, now we're on page two because I skipped over a bunch more political stuff. Lana Del Rey boyfriend. She's a musician. That's all I know. Jeremy Dufresne. I don't know who that is. Oh, I saw this on Twitter, I believe. Um, The guy is like an alligator, one of those like glass boat tour guides or something. There's pictures of them together. But it says here that she's denying dating an alligator tour guide. That's funny. Yeah. So she has pictures like them holding hands and hugging. and That's funny. But she's not dating him. It's a typical woman response. No, I'm single. Rude. That's there's this guy fucking rude. This guy just conducted an experiment where he was going around and asking women that were you could clearly tell that they were in relationships. And he's like, Oh, I'm doing I'm doing this thing. Are you single? And the majority of the women, even if they were in the presence of their boyfriend or like he was off camera somewhere, was, oh yeah, I'm single. Yeah. The real question to ask is if you were to ask the other person, would they? No, the guy thanked the interviewer. He was like, thanks. Now that I know where I stand, she can get fucked. And like, he's like, the the quote was, I didn't know how much I needed you or something along those lines. And he was talking to the guy, not to his girlfriend for saving him from that relationship. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. The next thing is somebody that I can't pronounce the name of, and all of it is in Spanish. So it wouldn't matter for this show anyways because nobody that watches this speaks Spanish. Except for Andrew. Yeah. So Andrew can supposedly read it. Or I can read it, but I don't know who this guy is. He's a soccer player. Juan is Cuerdo. It's talking about playing football. Why he doesn't like the other team. Why is he in the hospital? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Paralympics again. Ashley Watkins. No idea who that is. Oh, WWE bash in Berlin. We don't care about that. Do you know the army is going after the rock for the money that they paid him? That's here's, funny. Here's the thing. Angry cops did a breakdown of it. I knew that they How had much did they pay him? Again? $11 million. And you said zero people were recruited. No, it wasn't of- even zero. It was negative. Negative. They lost people because yeah. of him. They they have a way to determine how much money they put in and then how many recruits. So even if you don't check the box, like I saw this in the Rocks Football League. Okay. They can see the trends based on investment in the money that goes in different places. And all of the money that they put into him, basically recruitment plummeted at that time. They lost, I think, they said like like 3,000 or 3,800 or something like that, potential recruits. And when did they start this campaign with him? I want to say it was like a year ago or maybe even more. Okay, and here's but, the other. But I have a question. Okay. Isn't that also around the same time that all the footage has been put on social media 
of people getting blown up by drones. That's in uh, Russia and Ukraine. Right, and I no, understand yeah, no. that. But that being on no. everybody's feed every single day, he, he also seeing people just walking at a drone blowing them up. He also didn't do what he was supposed to do. Okay, he I was understand supposed that. To do, but I think there are more factors than just the rock. No, they have ways of determining. They have ways of. So here's the other thing: the colonel who was in charge of putting this together, okay, when asked to provide evidence that this would work this time because they've done it in the past and it never who worked. Did, who did they use before? I don't know. I don't remember. It's and I'm talking like twenty year trends. Right. I'm asking. Every time that so they've tried, every time they've tried social media influencers, anything like that, it's always been a net negative okay. or zero. And they asked him pr- to provide evidence that it was going to work this time. And, and what it was, was the evidence that he provided? It was nothing. It was trust me, bro. So he's under investigation. Gotcha. Yeah. Don't do, don't do lies. Don't, don't do lies. What I mean, was the, I don't know if it's lies. It's, I'm going to start talking like, what's his name from the office? He's like, why use many word when few word do job? <laughs> Kevin. Yeah. I have oh, my sweet Kevin. My, my laugh react to everything on Twitter is him doing the belly laugh or it's Michael laughing and he's like, <laughs> so those are my two go-to responses for anything that makes me laugh on Twitter. <laughs> Let's see here. Ashlyn Watkins. Do we know who that is? It's, looks like a basketball. Yeah, women's basketball. Oh, she's arrested. <laughs> Charged with assault. Okay. Sucks for you. Mia Far- Farrow. Do you know who that is? Isn't she an actress? Maybe? Something co-stars in Broadway. Mia Farrow and Patty Lupin. Is that how you pronounce her name? I yeah, first no looked idea. at Mia Farrow and Patty LaPone and The Roommate on Broadway. Okay, I'm not going to a Broadway show, so we'll skip that too. Okay. September. The month of September. The month of September. <laughs> it's the ninth month of the year. Your horoscope is all it is. Your Taurus the tarot that, horoscope. No, no, time out. The yeah. way that you pronounced it was whore a scope yeah. yeah. as in W H O R E. Yeah. yeah. Those are the only people that care about that. <laughs> you are literally the worst. Nah. I'm, the worst. I'm the goodest. All right, we got to wrap this up here in a minute. So I'm going to see if there's anything interesting. Do you know what your horoscope is? No. Are you going to share mine? No. It's Those are the three in the news trends, though. Glamour, allure, and Hindustan times. <laughs> That's seriously... Well, 17 hours ago from the Hindu stand times. Okay. All right. Reagan movie. Kevin Cost. Kevin. No, not Kevin Costner. What's, um, what's that guy's name? He did the cameo in the boys and just like screamed his own name. His son is Huey Quaid. Dennis Quaid plays Reagan. Are you going to okay. watch it? I didn't even know it was coming out until right now. I think so. it came out yesterday, Friday. Oh, uh, no. Why, just, would I, why would I watch it? I don't know. It's just a Reagan movie. Uh, and uh, apparently the guy from, oh my God. Are you okay? You're like bouncing all over the place. Yeah, I got to pee. <laughs> I'm doing the cash move. Yeah, I was about to say, okay, cash. <laughs> um, I think the band Coldplay, I think is who it is. Their lead singer is playing Sinatra in the movie. And people are like, he sucks at singing and he doesn't look like Sinatra at all. This is a shit cast. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really confused. Isn't he like blonde? I don't like know. bleached but, blonde? But Dennis Quaid, strikingly similar as far as actors that aren't like type, or I'm not saying typecast, but because you can find like a doppelganger usually, right? but they're not really an actor. Mm-hmm. But Dennis Quaid is both looks, a doppelganger and an actor. Yeah, he looks. So it works. Per, yeah. He's got kind of like the same, like when I think of Reagan in my head. So and, maybe Dennis Quaid came first and the idea for the Reagan movie came second. Uh, I don't know why the Reagan movie. I don't know why that like out of nowhere. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like maybe somebody, I mean, Hollywood fucking sucks right now. So maybe they looked at him and went, you know what? Deadpool this would and Wolverine work. apparently is still crushing in the box office though. I believe it. It's There's crushing, nothing else good out. It's crushing so much that of the 
three headlines in the news from Deadline, Hollywood Reporter, and El Paso Times that are on the Reagan movie trend. They all either, or two of the three, the snippet or the image for the article is from Deadpool and Wolverine. And then it's like, and Reagan movie. <laughs> but he looks, man, he looks, okay, Dennis Quaid. Yeah, Reagan. Look, like even the poster. I want to, I want to see the poster. Come on. Doesn't he like, he just kind of. Yep. It's, it's, it's weird. Uncanny. Yeah. Like I said, maybe somebody saw an opportunity and said, you know what? It would Wait, work. wasn't Reagan an actor? Oh gosh, I don't know. I think Reagan was an actor before he became president, if I remember right. Google it. All right. Yeah. He was like a... Like in his 20s? He was like a Western movie. Okay. So it's kind of uh, like a full circle thing. He was an actor, became president. Now there's an actor playing him as president, playing an actor. It's like the... Self-fulfilling um, prophecy? Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Robert Downey Jr. in... Um, Did you see how much they're paying him? Hundred million dollars for two movies. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, Could, crazy. You know how you know how terrible. Um, what's his name that was playing Kang has to feel for for losing out on that? But let's be honest, he was only going to get paid maybe half that at best. No, but he was supposed to be set up as like the indefinite. Like he was going to have those movies. Still, and continue. He doesn't have the same name, so. Well, Robert Downey Jr. didn't when he started as Iron Man. He was a drug addict, and no, that was his second chance. Yeah, he did other things the, between. The dude, the dude playing Kang was one of the highest trending actors. He in, did not go from rehab to Iron Man. Pretty much. No, yeah. there was like a ten-year gap between the two. That was early nineties. When did RDJ? Go to jail. It was probably like 95. Robert Downey Jr. compares prison to, um, I don't want to see images. I want to see the actual articles. So it says 96. I was fucking spot on. There was in, a 10 year gap between. In 97, uh, he missed a court ordered drug test and had to spend six months in LA County jail. Right, there was a 10-year gap between Iron Man and his stints in jail and rehab. But he wasn't getting anything at that time. That was the same time as Tropic Thunder, which I was starting to talk about. That's what I was getting. I thought I was, Tropic Thunder was like 2003. No, it was around the Type same time. Type up Tropic Thunder. 2008, after Iron Man, or at the same time as Iron Man. Okay, and Tropic Thunder is a like spoof movie. It's not. But it's my point was because I said it's an actor playing a president who was an actor. So it's his quote was, "I'm just a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude." That's what I was trying to get at with that. It was RDJ's quote from that movie because he's blackface playing a black guy. I only watched it one time. I didn't even remember he was in there. Tom. Wow. Tom Cruise. I watched it one time. It was terrible. It was Tom, literally a, the worst it's movie hilarious. ever. It was the worst it's movie so ever. so funny. Tom the worst Cru movie ever. Tom Cruise's cameo is awesome too. Do you even know who he was in the movie? I, he was like the bad guy or something. Yeah, but he was like wearing a fat suit yeah, and facial. I like, yeah. I, again, I watched it one time in... I thought it was 2007, so if you said it came out in 2008, then I must have seen it in 2008 when it came out. It, I'm going to find the exact date. I watched um, it on DVD. I know that. I did not watch it. It came out three days after your birthday in 2008. Okay. Well, I watched it on DVD. So you probably watched it around Christmas because they usually are three to six months after. Yeah, possibly. Um and back when Redbox used to be at the entrance of every hair cedar. They're still for a dollar. Red boxes in several places. I've seen them. I, I haven't I've seen, seen it. I haven't seen any. They're like hidden on the side of the building now. That's like the drug alley. 
<laughs> well, they were at like CVS's CVS. yeah. on the exterior, but they're gone now too from there. I haven't. Okay, now I want to go look at the one in Leland. Cause yeah, I, that's where yeah. it used to be. I don't think it's there anymore. Okay, well, I need to go piss. So we're going to cut this one off here, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye. Goodbye.